Hey everybody, good energy to you guys. So, uh, this is a video specifically for John Shamanic, um, a fellow YouTuber whom I like watching. You know, he's shared a lot of good stuff on, um, you know, yoga and, you know, kind of like martial arts training, and he's got a lot of intelligence and a very good ability at uh, pattern recognition, in my opinion. Um, you know, uh, however, you know, I think he's, I think he's like, you know, he's a few years younger than me. Um, he's about to go into something that I've experienced personally, and that's taking SSRIs, which is things like Lexapro. Their serotonin, um, re, uh, they just help with your serotonin. They, they help your brain produce more serotonin. Um, and then also benzodiazepines, which is like clonazepam, Xanax. I mean, it's shit that, it's a pharmaceutical that, that calms you down and numbs you. Um, and he also talks about cannabis, um, and, you know, and exercise and, and things of that nature too. Um, but you know, my experience, I tried the whole fucking, you know, going to a therapy. I tried the Lexapro thing. Um, I, you know, have, I was on benzodiazepines for a while and I don't know how much of an addictive nature he has, but for me, man, those fucking benzos, I just eventually started swallowing them like fucking candy. Um, they do take away, if you're having panic attacks, which is usually why, you know, they, they prescribe those things or just for, you know, high anxiety, um, you know, they will take those panic attacks fucking away. It's a lot like chugging a beer, but it's not getting to the problem. It's not getting to the core root of the issue that's causing the panic attack in the first place. It's a fear you got to get over. It's really, you know, a lack of faith in whatever, whatever it is you believe in. You know, for me, it's the most highs. It's, it's God. It's Yahushua. It's this and that. Um, but it doesn't, you know, everybody's got their own beliefs. Um, and they also, it's also about believing in yourself. You know, if you don't believe in yourself enough and in, in what you speak about and what you want to be about and what you're living, that's going to bring about doubt, you know, which is going to bring about fear. You know, and if you're not expressing that to others if you're walking around in a world or at a job or in an environment where you're always having to fucking bullshit and say you're doing all right when you're really not doing all right what's up buddy um you know this too is also a suppression of how you really authentically feel so this is going to bring about an inner turmoil inside of your inner being which is going to therefore manifest into some type of a depression or sickness that's what happened to me you know as i've said i've had trouble fucking expressing myself throughout my life and it hasn't been until recently and a lot of it does you know i do give a lot of uh credit to joy because she's just you know i mean josh was very good at expressing himself too but she's uh, been a real good example um and she's you know her being online makes it that much easier for one to just sit there and watch somebody fucking just speak what's on their mind whatever it may be not saying i agree with everything she has to say or anything like that but just her ability to express herself is very soothing and refreshing and it's it's it, it, it it's it allows for things to flow better so you're not having that that dormant that stagnant that toxic essential energy that's just sitting there waiting to be expressed because you don't feel a certain way about something and you're going about living a life that you really don't like um so that's going to bring about a negative emotion with inside of yourself <clears throat> and this is what i was doing for a long time i didn't know what to do with myself um i was finding whatever distractions i could to fill the void um, I didn't have a purpose, you know, I was isolated, I was alone, I didn't know who to talk to, or, you know, I didn't even really have much of a desire to talk because I never really was talking from the heart, from how I really felt. Um, but again, it wasn't until, you know, recently, I had to go through a lot of pain and suffering to get to a point where I had to fucking just stand up and tell people straight up how I feel about things, you know, in the moment, and not procrastinate, and not be afraid to, you know, put my flow into the flow of the moment in order to allow myself to be heard and felt instead of just allowing somebody else's feelings to dominate essentially the moment. Not saying that's their intent, but you know, if you let somebody continue speaking when in your heart you're not feeling the same type of way, you're allowing that force to dominate your force. And you know, I mean, using that word dominate, you know, I don't know if it's the best word of choice, but um, that's what happens, man. And it's not their fault, essentially. It's, it's, it's your fault for not speaking up. And you don't have to do it in a fucking confrontational way. You can just do it in a loving way. Like, hey, man, you know, I, I happen to disagree. I feel this and this and about this. And then you guys can have a real good back and forth about how you, what you both really feel based on your own, each of your own abilities to express yourselves um, authentically. 
So like the pharmaceuticals, man, I mean, and I think John Shamanic knows all about, you know, pharmacy and how it goes back to sorcery and, you know, this and that. And in my opinion and in my experience, it's very true. Some of the worst withdrawals I've ever had in my life and, you know, the hardest, most down fucking rock bottom feelings I've had have come literally from pharmaceutical withdrawals. <laughs> now, again, I was abusing them. I was taking way more than I was supposed to. So, you know, that that's on me for fucking, you know, just making it that much worse um, by choosing to abuse them. But even people who don't abuse them, I've heard, like, when you've been taking them for months and then it's time to come off of them, there's still going to be a withdrawal effect. And the thing with it is, is they are numbing you from how you really feel. They're not going to want, they're, they're going to put you in a, a calm, a complacent state to where it's like, oh, okay, you know, I don't really need to fucking address my panic attacks and why I'm having them because I don't feel them anymore. But it's not because you really did anything to solve the problem or even to, you know, go into and seek the answer to the problem or the root cause of the problem. It's because you're taking an artificial substance that's numbing the problem. It's putting a band-aid on it. You're alleviating the pain instead of embracing the pain. You know, I mean, it is what it is, man. This is stuff that I've had to learn throughout my life. And, you know, I still, you know, use herbs to help out when I'm not feeling the best also. But, you know, I try to space them out as much as I can. You know, I try to embrace the sobriety, the now, as well and aware as I can. And I also don't put myself in the false pretense that these herbs or these substances are going to solve my problems. I know that there's work that needs to be done. There's things that I need to do. There's more searching that I have to go out and seek. In order to find out the clues and, and give myself a fucking trajectory that's going to put myself in a healthy and good and authentic and genuine direction for myself and you know which is going to help me feel better in my well-being and, and everybody else too um <clears throat> you know one of the best things i found in this life is being able to just speak what's truly on your mind authentically and to find something that you love to do and passionately do it this is really the best therapy you know breathing and all these other tools and exercise these all are things that can help you you know alleviate things and help you grow stronger this and that <clears throat> and, and in your downtime you can use these things that can you and you can utilize them to make you stronger as i just said but they're still not gonna you know it's really about finding out who you are what your heart really vibrates with the most you know that's what's really going to help cure you man and for us human beings i think as we are made in the image of god which is love it's all about the love now we all have love with inside of ourselves and we have different purposes and fingertips so that we have different skills inside of love or inside the body of Christ or inside the body of God. And once we learn to unravel those and understand those and comprehend those and play with those and work with those, the better we're going to feel because the more we're fulfilling what we were put here to do. Because we were all given a soul. We were all given a certain pattern of experience and expression that came from the Creator. And when we don't follow in alignment with that expression and that creation that came from us from the Creator, we're in a misalignment. You know, now we're always aligned, but you can be aligned a little bit more on the tracks than you can in other ways. So, like, when you're not following your true heart's vibrations, you're not fully on the tracks. So you're going to be unstable. You're not going to have the good turns. You're not going to be able to get that good speed. You're not going to be able to get that good flow. So it's imperative that you take the time to find out who you are. You know, you can study your nature chart, you can do these things, but a lot of it, I think if people just know who it is they are, they just have a trouble sharing it. So this is why I encourage people, YouTube is a great place for you just to upload videos or go live if you want and just share what's on your heart. And don't worry about how it feels or how it sounds or the judgment that's gonna come from other people, just express yourself. Just be yourself, as you know, in Aladdin, the genie said, just be yourself. When he was having trouble, like, you know, how do I, you know, talk to this girl, this princess? She's so beautiful, and this and that. And I'm just this peasant dude living on the streets. Like, what, what the fuck am I supposed to do? And the genie's like, just be yourself. It's the answer, man. Just be yourself. Be you. Be you, you as you came here to be. Don't even try to seek that higher. That's one thing Pops told me, too. He's like, how do you, you know, become happy, or how do you really please a woman? And at the time, this was like three years ago, I was like, oh, you got to be your higher self. And, it, and he was like, no, not really, bro. Like, just be you. Like, you, you already came here as your higher self. You're an image of God. You have the power of God inside you. You have the authority of God inside of you to greater and lesser degrees. But you just got to be you in the image of love, which means just be a loving being. Express what's truly on your heart and what you really want to do with your life. What would you die for? These type of questions will help put the type of pressure that's necessary to get those type of things out of the cracks out of the shadows, out of the crevices. So, you know, again, to John, Sh uh, John Shamanic, sorry if I mispronounced that, 
you know, man, I hope that the, the clinical trial trials goes well with you and the benzodiazepine, the Lexapro or whatever type of SSRI you're going to take. You know, I mean, I always want things to work out for people. Um, I'm just relaying my experience. You know, when I was watching his live stream, I initially gave him a thumbs up because I love his channel. I like what he has to say and he's got a good aura and intelligence and a lot of good things to share. But whenever they go into pharmaceuticals and, you know, I just, I don't like supporting that. So I took away the thumbs up. Um, but then he kept on talking about exercise and cannabis and in general, I'm, I want to support him and what he's doing and his expression. So then I gave it another thumbs up. So if he happens to watch that, you know, that was me who did that. And these are the reasons why. And, you know, this is also just my experience with pharmaceuticals, you know, SSRIs and just also like another thing with therapy, like <clears throat> this is the problem with therapy um, because they really don't want, at least in my experience, when I authentically express myself, because this is what I did when I was in therapy. I heard about all these people's problems and it's really sad, man. And I was like, love is the answer. You all just need to love more. You need to fucking take care of your children if they're having issues. You need to stop doing this if you're having issues. You need to take care of this. Take care of yourself. Da -da 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 -da. It's all about love. And I got really intense with it, you know. And, and they did not want to hear it to the point to where they literally told me I could not continue to go back to these group organizations or these group talks, which is what the whole thing was about, was just us just sharing what was on our heart because I was too intense with people. And I think it was because they didn't, what I was telling them was a threat to their whole organization because if people really embrace that it is all about love, it is all about God that's gonna help you get through this and being real to yourself and who you are and what you were created to be, then there's no need for these organizations. So in a sense that they perhaps were threatened by the words that came out of my mouth because the words that came out of my mouth made their jobs irrelevant or you know futile in a sense you know i wasn't trying to fucking like hammer them down or anything but i was just being real with how i felt in the moment and i shared that and some people aren't gonna like that but you got to learn to get over that too that's part of the challenge you know that's part of living as a real being authentic being a genuine being in a world with so much fakeness so all right i just want to share that with y'all love you guys hope you have a good day all right bye